Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm in the uh, Coachman RV and uh, we're doing a lot of renovations. This might be a part two, three or whatever. Um, today we're putting the lighting in and I'm going to show you how to wire up the lighting in a RV. Now, it's it's a little bit different from house wiring because I know because I haven't got, got shocked yet. <laughs> so I'm trying to be careful what I'm doing. Now this is an 87 Coachman, so the problem I'm having is, is the old lights weren't bright enough for what we have today in, in today's world, and I just decided I want to go with LED, and I have one that's already working right here as you can see, and I'll show you the features once I get the other one hooked up. Now the problem is, is that these are flush mounted, if you can see here up close, these are flush mounted and you really can't have the wires you know kind of wobbling so what i wound up doing is is right up here i know it's kind of hard to see with my camera lady but um i had to take an exacto knife because this is paneling this is what paneling i had to take a, a an exacto knife or utility knife and i was very careful and i cut a hole in here a little bit bigger so all my wiring will tuck up in there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this one up. I've wired the rest of them up so far. I figure I'd do a quick little video for you. Okay, so I'm going to clean my end because it's got a little bit of paint on it from when I painted the RV. And this one has a just a, a plug-in style uh, wire connector. So we don't need that anymore. We're just going to cut that off right there. And then... My lady can come back here. Can can everybody see what I'm doing here, hun? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna strip my wires. I will eventually have me grow pro here soon. It's just that uh, we're trying to get this thing rocking so we can get in it and have fun. All right. So how it is is in an RV is your white wire is your ground, not your black. I learned that real quick. I had to uh, Google a little bit and I found a place. And then your black wire is your hot wire. Okay, so you can see here, you have a white wire and you have a black wire. I know it's kind of hard to see with the paint over there. Yeah, I say it looks gray. Yeah, it looks but... gray, but you know, it is a black wire uh, tucked up in here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo my wires here. Go ahead and pull the, where they, put soldering on it. If you have a soldering iron, go ahead and use a soldering iron. But I'm not going to do that because if I ever have to take these off later on for something else, I have the opportunity to take it off. So I'm going to take my wire nut here along with my wires. I'm going to give my wires a couple twists like so. And I'm going to take the wire nut put it on there until it won't tuck. Kind of twist the, the, both wires together, okay? Now it'll hold. Grab my other one. Give them a little bit of a twist is what I do before I put the nut on. You don't have to, but it makes it easier on me. Alright, so you got them both together. You got the red to the black and the white to the black. Okay, so black on white, red on black. I know it sounds weird, but that's how they wire them. I had a Peterbilt. That was, the Peterbilt was the, almost the same way on it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tuck our wires up in here. And uh, tuck them up in here. And I made the hole big enough so I can fit my fingers in there later on if I need to. Now I'm going to figure out if I hooked everything up. Okay, we got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now I got all the lights facing one direction in this vehicle. So that if... So they won't get confused. Okay, which button is it? We know they're all facing towards this way to turn the light on. You could do it this way or that way for the button. Just so we know in the future, if you've seen it turn to blue, which is very cool. Be cool for, you know, if you don't want to 
you want to keep the bugs from coming in here and bugging you, you know. So I'm using a uh, small little impact gun or a drill. Um, if you're not very savvy about, you know, over tightening, then I prefer you. I would tell you, do not do this at home. Okay. But I've used these enough to know when to quit. As far as I want to go. When you hear the drill kind of, eh, okay, you need to quit. You know, just like that lawnmower blade. He, he knew when to get off that, whatever, he ran over. All right, we're golden. We're good. Awesome. So, there we go. And then all we got to do is we got to put like little white grommets where the screws are, and they just slip in there. And then there you go. And then we got a bright, and then we got a dim, a dim, and then... Then we have the blue light as well. And there you go. That's how you install an RV light. Just simple as that. And the ones that we had originally in here in Honeybee, can show you. There's one up the nose here. She can show you real quick. Up top. Can you, can you see that? That's what we had originally in here. They're not very bright at all. Matter of fact, I can actually show you how bright it was if I can reach it so this is what we had originally see how, see how bright that is that's with switch it one all right so that's uh, that is a, as bright as we had them in here and big difference you got white light versus the what color usually you say that light is but it's it's an old style light I mean warm Warm is the color of that light, all right? So that versus now, you know, I can't really reach because i got to get a ladder. But you see how that is, and you see how warm, how bright these are. It's, it's a little bit of a difference, and I don't have to worry about changing the bulb periodically. Um, I got these off of Amazon, and they are the... The Risto RV Diambo LED ceiling lights, what they are. They're low energy consumption. They are only a 5 16th of an inch. And of course, you can read the rest if you want. But they're like, uh, what was it, like 25 bucks per per box. So we had a, we, they come in five in a box. All right, so they're real thin. They're thin like a cell phone is what they're like. And that's about it, guys. So, you know, if you're looking for a quick flip to change from an old light like this and give it a fresh new look, I mean, that's the way to go. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. What do you think, honeybee? I like it. Yeah. So, all in all, that's how we do it. Overall, Paul, y'all have a great day. God bless. And all things are possible. Peace.